Someone tagged me in this video and pointed out that on top of being a house burner down machine, this glass planter is also basically a sun recorder. And sunshine recorders are machines that record how many hours of bright sunlight a specific location gets over the course of a given time period, like over the course of a day or a year. And it's useful as a general indicator for how overcasty or sunshiny a given area is. This type is called the Campbell Stokes Sunshine Recorder. They consist of a big old glass ball lens set into a metal partial shell housing. What you do is you set some cards into the partial shell housing and the orb focuses sunlight on it. And as the sun makes its path through the sky, the focused sunlight burns holes in the cards. You typically have three sets of cards and places to mount them so you can record sunshine over the course of the year as the sun changes altitude. In the northern hemisphere, they typically face south so they can catch as many rays as possible, and in the south they face north. But in polar regions, they have special dual orb setups facing opposite each other. That way you can record a full 24 hours of sunshine in the summer when the sun don't set. The first version, created by young John of Islay in 1853, was set into a wooden bowl and the sun would burn the bowl. In 1879, Sir George Stokes made it metal and added the cards and they've pretty much stayed the same since. I think they look super cool, but they do have some drawbacks. If they get bird shit or dirt on them, they won't give a faithful reading. If the sun is super bright, it could burn the card as much in 5 minutes as a weaker sun could in 30 minutes, so the readings are inherently a little subjective. Still, they look way cooler than a modern photovoltaic pyranometer, which also measures sunlight. So I'd rather have one of them, but they typically cost like between 500 and 2000 bucks. Thanks for watching. Me and my community here are supporting this GFM to help save Amir and his family, and if you'd like to help too, we'd all appreciate it.